All right, good morning guys. We are on competition Saturday. I'm a little late, I gotta lie. I'm supposed to be there at 10. It's 10 o'clock right now, but uh, I think it's fine. I don't think they're gonna start without me. I'm thinking this is just more like testing, interviews, things like that. I actually had breakfast with our commentator and his wife. So I know he's not gonna be there until a little bit later this morning. So obviously he's not gonna be interviewing us, but we may be meeting with the production team. So. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes here. All right. Oh, man. It is a, a beautiful day here in Vegas. Absolutely beautiful. This top golf is amazing. Uh, you can hit balls and watch some college football. I don't know if it gets any better than that on a Saturday. Um, yeah, like I said, the weather's gorgeous. It is turning out to be a great day. They're getting everything set up. Uh, saw the trophy. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of that. It's a very nice trophy. I think we're about to start kicking off some interviews. Everybody's here just kind of doing a little... A little mini meet and greet because Simon and Melanie for Life weren't able to make it last night due to their flights coming in so late. So just doing that right now. Then we're going to start doing some interviews and doing some testing and practice. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be a good day. Hopefully you guys are, are tuning in or will be tuning in and uh, rooting me on here. All right, guys, this is what we're playing for today. Here it is. All right, what's going on guys? It's about one o'clock. I'm sitting here in a corridor. Um, we've been practicing for a little bit. We got through our interviews, all that good stuff. So we knocked all that out. The browser and everything, uh, it's a little skittish to be honest, but we're gonna try to get through it. Uh, I was definitely seeing some, some meter lag and some issues with that. So we're probably not gonna see people going blistering low today, but... Um, the meter, everyone was complaining about the meter, but to me it was almost like home, I'll be honest. It was very shaky, um, extremely similar to home. So I was hitting a decent amount of dings on my approaches, but the putter, so the dots are lagging very bad. So it's hard for me to read dot speeds, and then it was a little hard to hit the meter on putts with a 100 foot scale, say like 50 some feet. Um, I probably hit seven or eight putts and only dinged like one of them at that distance. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, a lot of people are debating, you know, I think everyone's going to use Chrome except me. Now the meter was a little smoother on Chrome, it was much smoother actually, but uh, there was a little bit of a laggy response from when I clicked to when it registered. So I think I'm just going to go with Firefox because that's what I normally go with, uh, even though it's a little laggy and then on the greens the dots are really laggy, so making putts over 10 feet is probably going to be extremely difficult, um, but we're going to give it a go. So we're about to. Uh, get going here in about two hours. We're eating some lunch right now. We're waiting for lunch to be delivered, uh, and then we're going to do some stuff. But yeah, so far, a really cool event. Uh, Top Golf WGT has done a really good job, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way they've done it. And uh, should be a really exciting event coming up here in about two hours. All right, guys, so uh, the event's over. Obviously, you guys know we ended up getting second, but uh, just very happy to make it to the finals. So we had uh, some issues, as I'm sure you guys could see. So uh, basically, when I played Molini and Wilder, he, he played really well. I was not expecting him to play so well, and I, I was actually like, oh, damn, this is going to be a match. I'm going to have to go hard. So um, I wasn't very nervous. I felt super confident going into it, man. And I had done my testing on the browsers. I felt so good. I literally went back to the hotel while they were they were kind of testing and downloading new things. I was like, I'm good, man. My meter's good. I was playing ready goes. So uh, I start playing against him, 
and the meter was super responsive. When I clicked, it stopped. But then when we got on the greens, the dots weren't moving. I'm like, oh crap. So I kind of had to putt by feel most of the time. So then after Birchie beat Mags with, what a match, man. Birchie's hole out was outstanding. That was, that was a hell of a match. So hats off to Birchie for the win, by the way. He played great. Um, he dealt with the issues. He had to switch computers. I took the computer he was at. He had to switch browsers. Um, actually, no, I think he stuck with SlimJet. So they were downloading a couple different browsers, um, but he played great. So anyway, I finished. Once that Mags Birchie match finished, we had about 20, what was it, 20, 25 minutes or so, would you say? Yeah, I'd say it's more like 15. Was it 15? So I got on there and I was trying to fix the putting dots. So um, Ravi or, or Malini for Life was on there and he was kind of helping me out with things. And then we got the dots to where they were good. Uh, the drawback was there was late click, right? So there was some meter lag with the click. So I tried SlimJet and it was even worse. And then I tried Chrome and it was about the same as SlimJet. So I just ended up, um, they said two minutes left and I was literally still trying out SlimJet. So I, I was like, okay, we just, we gotta go with Chrome or uh, Firefox and just hope we can hit the ding. And uh, I was clicking way early and still missing way late. It was crazy how, how much lag there was, but um, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, I'm really happy that, that I got second. And there are lots of live events coming from what we were told, right? We were told that there was going to be more live events. And WGT was super nice. Everybody from champion to their director of marketing to director of product development to their wives to <laughs> the people that were running the camera setup, um, the production team they hired outside to run the stream. So it was all, it was great. So just some things to fix in the future. But I'm looking forward to uh, attending some some live events. So I brought my wife on here because I wanted to give her feedback, kind of as someone who doesn't play WGT, what what you thought of it. As far as the event goes, I yeah. thought that they did great. I honestly think they had a very short period of time to set all of that up, and they got you guys up and running fast. And everybody was very gracious to have all the players here and taking time to come and do this. And I felt that they hosted a good tournament. Yeah, it was. It was, it was really fun. They gave us um, free food, free beer. Yeah. So that part was nice. We we uh, yeah, overindulged. A, they, they did. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, what can we do? Um, but I did not drink today during the matches, so uh, I did not do that. But yeah, just from last night, getting to meet these people, got a uh, totally one eighty different opinion on WGT, and I think. We're going to hopefully collaborate on some things in the future. They got some really cool ideas. The future of the game looks great. Um, we were, like I said, we were given a lot of information that made me feel super good. Uh, the comedy announcer was very cool. We hung out with, with him and his wife, um, ate breakfast with them this morning. Just super cool. Really man. enjoyed meeting them. Really enjoyed getting to spend time with them. Yeah, it was outstanding. So uh, overall, and, and hats off to my wife. Uh, thank you for sitting through hours and hours of WGT. So I was there. I was there from 10 a.m. until like 7.30 ish. So it was quite a long day. It was about nine and a half hours we were there. Um, and she was there from three o'clock to 7.30. So four and a half hours today and then three, four hours yesterday. So uh, last thing she probably wanted to do when she came to Vegas was sit around and watch people play WGT. But uh, she did it. She's a trooper and that's why I love her. So we are gonna go out and enjoy the sights. Uh, again, not upset. I wish I could have brought my A game in the uh, finals. Unfortunately, I was a, a bit handcuffed, but hats off to Birchie. He played well. Congrats, man. Enjoy that prize. Enjoy your time in the U.S. He's going to spend about two weeks here. So uh, hopefully everybody goes on Birchie's wall and says congrats because he definitely deserves it. So I will see you guys at Fremont Street here. All right, so we ended up going to Fremont, but it was a little crazy and, and probably not something, stuff you put on YouTube. So this was a video of the Bellagio and the kind of waterfall. I thought this was super cool, so I wanted to put it on here. Um, overall, man, what a great event. It really kind of stinks about the finals. You know, it's something where, I don't know, maybe I should have adjusted to it, but I've never had to click that early. So it was bad timing to happen in the finals to come up with that much meter lag, but it was a great event. I'm not disappointed. There'll be future events. Uh, a lot of lessons learned that I think will be useful moving forward. 
uh, and I'm super excited, man. Like I said, the, the, the direction of the game is awesome, and we're on good footing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series. Let me know. It's kind of something different, um, but I had a lot of fun making it, and I think my wife did too. So thank you guys for viewing it.